Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Mama Bear with a Daily Dash of Life. Welcome back. Picking up some hands. We ended up purchasing some pullet hens at our local feed store. Hopefully we won't have to spend too much money on food before they start producing eggs. That is our hope. Yeah. Merry Christmas. They'll come out on their own? They're standing on each other. Maybe pick them up and put them out. What? What? Oh, oh. Yay! I'm not picking you. You're beautiful. I want to. Josh! Stay out. <laughs> that one is the new chica. That's yes, the new chica. Definitely. <laughs> that one's Goldie. Another Amy. Golding? Yes. Amy, Goldie, Goldie, Golding. Mm. Oh, we're going to have to make them anklets or something. Okay, that Goldie is uh, Goldie slash uh, Bruce, Bruce Lee, oh. and she knows Type 1 Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Chunkies. Keep in mind that reds tend to be brody, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just something to keep in mind when you're purchasing your hens. <laughs> Come on, Concha. Come on, Concha. <laughs> there we go. It must be a small buddy to be in that small box. Your turn to be the big annoyed sister. Yep. I almost swallowed my gum. Like, I kind of <laughs> swallowed my gum, but I swallowed it left, so I, I could unswallow it. Oh! <laughs> When did you get calm, Chudo? What the fuck?
We have a couple of new things going on around the shed and around the chicken coop. Right here, down here, we have some reinforcement going on because we got a new bunny and a new pig, a little piglet that's even smaller than Churro. Her name is Concha. The bunny and the piglet are able to get through these wires so easily. So we had to get some mesh wiring. This is the garden wire. You can call it garden wiring. You can call it um, hardware cloth. And this is one inch by one inch squares. Not only did we add it to the bottom right there around the fence, but we put a little bit on the door just in case. We did kind of splurge a little bit, got ourselves a new door. As you can see, I added some of the galvanized wiring right here to the window so that the chickens can be inside the shed and they can't escape, but they can get some airflow and they can get some light. And turns out our bunny that we've had all this time is a male. We found that out because we ended up getting another female, which there she is right there, Leia. And he has been trying to mate with her. Isn't she so cute? So Twist and Leia, and we're keeping them separate. She squeals differently than Churro does. Hers is more high-pitched right now. Oh, look at her. It's a rainy day today and they've been throwing fits. They'll go to the door and they're upset because they can't get inside. Even if it wasn't rainy, they'd be throwing fits because they can't go inside because that is where they want to pee and poop all the time. Like I said, I want the shed cleaner. So we're trying to get them to pee and poop outside so we could clean it better. And we're not wasting as many pine chips and straw. I created good sized drainage holes in these buckets right here so that the water, whenever it rains, can just drain out really well. If the holes are too small, then that won't happen. Thirty four by six runs side by side. <laughs> That's covered up there. Let's see. Maybe ten foot high rolls. The Isabel Brahma is like a gentle giant in my eyes, and this gentle giant's name is Sean Declare. We mainly got the Isabel Brahma for his size. I'm not going to lie, it was for his size, and he was pretty. 
but hopefully that's going to help keep some of the big birds out of the pen. We have named this black astrolorp Astro. <laughs> the way Concha has that dirt all over her nose. <laughs> We have had the bars on our roost wrong all this time. We had the pointier part facing up. I don't know why we ended up doing that. Oh, because of the way we had to screw it versus the flat part. So we went ahead and changed that. We learned that not only is it important that the chickens are comfortable on their roost since they spend so much time on it, but they also need to be able to keep their feet warm, especially in the winter and the cold, cold months. So that's why we made sure we did change it. <laughs> Come on, ladies. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Breakfast time. Breakfast time. <laughs> this is Sean Declare. And if you know Rock a Doodle Doo, then you know who Sean Declare is. Then we have some Bressies. We got we got three Bressies and four production reds. It's morning time, so everyone's out here eating. I didn't feed them too much this morning because they still had stuff left over from last night and I want all that to get picked up and cleaned up before I add new food out here. And here I have the bunny hutch every morning. We bring the bunny hutch out and we leave the two piglets out as well as the bunnies. And then right now we are taking the hens inside as well as the roosters during the day so that they can get comfortable. Remember that this is their home. We're gonna do that for a few weeks before we start letting them out during the day without supervision because we don't want, we don't want them to end up jumping over the fence. These two get along for the most part, except for when they're eating and Choodle runs out of food and then she tries to steal Goncha's food and pushes her out of the way. She doesn't want to share any of the food. Look at that big boy. <laughs> Let me show you what's going on in here. We had to make some changes. Sorry about the lighting. The lights are going out. As you can see, I got some dummy eggs so that we can show them Ooh. so that they can see where they need to be laying. I'm going to start trying to train them. They're not ready to lay yet, but I want them to get the idea that this is the area that they need to be laying. We had to make adjustments to this little ramp. Originally, Papa had just made these little grooves and indentions in here, but the birds were still sliding off. So he added these steps for them so that they can have something to hold on to. And we're also gonna have to add something to the edges right here so that the chickens can hop up, grab onto something, and then walk into their little nesting box. And then we'll have to do that at the different levels as well. The bunny is still using the potty grate over here. 
and that's working out well. We just dump the poop out when we need to. Both piglets are in here and we just keep adding straw every night. Every morning we take the straw out, we rinse the, the tray and then we put it back so that they could sleep in there at night. I was feeding them in there so that they can get comfortable with their little surrounding. But now that they are okay with being in there, we're feeding them outside. And we learned that feeding them outside is also gonna help keep this area clean, not just, um, not for sanitary purposes, but rodents and stuff. Once they catch wind that there's food in here, they're gonna wanna come in here all the time. So we're gonna have to make some more adjustments and get all these bins out and switch them out for the galvanized, the big galvanized tubs. So we'll have to do that, like the big garbage cans. Go eat, go eat little lady. Go on get. I do make sure they have fresh water every morning and then at night as well. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but up there we have just these random things and one of the roosters astro he really likes to perch up there and nest uh, not nest and roost up there we also have sean declare who likes to roost up here and we notice they really like to be close to the window so we moved their swing we did add a swing this used to belong to the cubs and then it fell so now we are using it for the chickens and they enjoy it and they want, like I said, want to be as close to the window as possible. So they have the roost over here. They have this roosting area over here. And then they have this to roost on as well. And I'm going to try to figure something out for this area to cover it so that it'll be easier to clean up when they do roost up there. So far, I just flick the, the poop particles off onto the wood chips. And that takes care of that situation. I pulled this out. This is another area for them to roost as well. And yep, that's what we're doing so far. When we brought Concha home, she became very comfortable with she became very comfortable with her environment very quick. But she's not as trusting with me as Chudo is because I didn't take all the same steps. I haven't had enough time to come out here and spend with her and be patient and just sit here and wait for her to come to me. She has been very good with the cubs. She's trusting them, but it does take time and patience to build that trust, which I don't have right now. So soon, hopefully I get to come out here and just build that trust with her. The bunny, Leia, She's been very trusting. She's been good. She's uh, She likes to be held even more than Twist. Let me see if I can get her. And maybe because she's smaller makes a difference. I'm not sure. But she just enjoys being held. And they will be out here doing close-ups because the footage is better when they're close up. But that's what we have. We have our four over here, and then our three right here, and then our two roosters. Now they're gonna do something, when you first get them, they do something called avoidance, <laughs> tolerance, and acceptance. When we first brought, we had the four production reds originally, and then we had them for a week, I would say, maybe two weeks before we ended up with the whites with the bressies. <laughs> the production reds are so docile. They're good with the kids, they're good with us. They're good with the other chickens. The bressies, not so much. They're good with the people. They're not as good with the chickens though. And they're faster. They have a slimmer body. The production reds are thicker and rounder than the bressies. 
and that makes the brassies faster than the production reds. The production reds don't mind getting caught and, you know, moved here and there. Whereas the brassies, they just, they're not having it. They don't want you messing with them, basically. One did try to peck me. So, I don't... <laughs> so far, the brassies are not my favorite. I really love the production hens. I've always been freaked out by chickens and the production hens, they've been cool people. I mean, they just, I enjoy them. They're not bad at all. The Astro, Astro, he surprised me. I'm not going to lie. He did surprise me. I just thought he would be like this big, mean rooster, but he's actually not. He's pretty calm, chill. I thought having two roosters. I thought having two roosters would end up being a problem, but it hasn't been a problem at all. Maybe when they start laying and they're starting to want to produce, then that might become an issue. But for now, he just kind of stays in his lane. And this guy, this big honking guy, he's the one that is the king of the jungle around here. And nobody just, nobody wants to mess with him. Everyone just falls in line. If these bressies start picking on anybody else, he kind of puts them in, in check. He's the one that's going to be the authority around here for them. Look at that. Look at that. See? There goes that bressy. You bad girl. Although the bressies are not my favorite, they do have a high egg laying count. They're high production birds. So are the production reds. And then the Brahmas lay a good amount of eggs as well. And so do the um, Astrothorps, Astrothrops, something like that. Now I'm gonna get in here and get cleaning, which means I'm gonna toss all this stuff around. The chickens have been helping with that process because they flick things and look for stuff and scratch. I need to get this out, like I said, get that straw out and then give that tray a good cleaning. And then probably at the end of the week, we'll be adding another bag of wood chips to this. You want to keep it as clean as possible by getting out as much of the funky stuff as you can, but then just add on top of the wood chips, add more wood chips on top of the old wood chips and you'll be fine. We eventually want to get them outside completely, just in the dirt the whole time. That would be best for them. Like I said, we still have, if you watched any of my other videos, we still have plans to expand out here. But this is where we're at. And if you've noticed, Trudel is just getting bigger and bigger. Hi, my son. Okay. And this is how they roost. I'll have to show you what we're feeding them in a minute. We did get them some scratch. We got them some pellets, adult chicken pellets, and we're also adding red pepper flakes to them. Okay, so far the hard part has been trying to keep the little piglets out of here when we're in here because they automatically, especially um, Churro, she wants to come in here and poop and pee which we're trying really hard to get her not to do that. Goncha has been okay with peeing and pooping outside because she's so used to it. She didn't get used to or get into the habit of peeing and pooping in the shed. So we need to break Trudel's habit really bad, but they've gotten better at staying outside. Before, if we had this door open, oh my gosh, the piglets would be running in here and running in here and running in here. Now, they're okay with staying outside. Mama, I just put... Another thing I'm doing to help keep things nice and tidy is I move these, uh, I move these crates around. So it was sitting there all night. Now I'm gonna find a new spot for it to be tonight. The piglet tray isn't too bad. They don't get a bunch of pee everywhere. But as far as the rabbit, I used to have the rabbit here, the rabbit hutch. But now I'm giving this area a break and I moved the hutch over here. And then again at night, uh, during the day, 
when I have the hutch outside, I've been moving it around. So right now it's going to be in this area. Yesterday it was there. The day before it was over here. We're just moving things around so that the ground just doesn't end up getting saturated with a bunch of pee. They love this little bed. They love this little pot. So if you can get yourself some of those. I did get some enrichment for them. This right here was a toy. One of the toys that had got the piglets and they didn't really play with it. So I'm gonna have to find something else for them to play with. They are enjoying having the other animals around. That seems to be some good enrichment for them. The rabbit does like to dig. The piglets do like to dig with their snouts. And they also like when you have a little bit of wet, wet soil. They really enjoy that. Oh, there goes Churro. Yay, Churro. Uh, the chicken pulled her tail. I just wanted to show you real quick. This is what the scratch looks like. It looks like seeds and stuff. We have some pellets mixed in with it. Yeah, this is what it's gonna look like. It's still early, the sun isn't completely up yet and it's very cloudy today, so sorry about the footage. And then here is what the pellets look like. Then we, get, then we just toss in some red pepper flakes. There's a lot of benefits to the red pepper flakes. I don't have to worry about the chickens and the red pepper flakes because they're not going to feel the heat. And they just enjoy it. This is their roost. They have integrated. They are, it looks like they are in the acceptance phase. Like I was saying before, if I didn't finish my sentence. So the white birds would stay on this side and then the red, the production red hands would stay on this side and they just stayed separated. And they really tried to, like you can tell that they were trying to avoid each other. Now they're mixing in. Or maybe they're in the tolerance phase, but they were not doing this before a couple of days ago. They literally stayed on other sides of the room, opposite sides of the room. I did put some wood chips up here just to try to help with the cleanup for now until we figure out what we're going to be doing up there. <laughs> Any suggestions? I am open for suggestions. I know some people would say maybe take this stuff down so that they can't hang out up there, but they like it. I don't know what to do about that. I want them to enjoy their time in here. I want them to feel comfortable in here so that when they need to come in here, they'll freely come in here. They'll be happy to come in here. At first, they didn't want to come out. Now, in the mornings, I'm able to get them out better. But in the evenings, I want them to come inside with no arguments, no fuss, no arguments. And if you get the roosters inside first, then the hens tend to follow, makes it easier. They trust the roosters. They want to be where the roosters are. So just a little helpful hint. Yes, Sean Declare. Astro, Astro, Astro. And my son has named one of these production red hens, Chicoletta. If you know, you know, from Paw Patrol. <laughs> one of those days.
and that's it for us i just wanted to pop in and give you a quick little update show you where we're at with these animals with these wild things astro the two minis the youngest bunny that we have and the youngest mini pig that we have thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe toodaloo And the bunny Just look at that little baby.